Hey everybody, how you doing today? Now we're gonna do some speed test. We have the Sandex uh, SSD here, it's a very, very fast one. And we're gonna transfer uh, maybe an 8 gigabyte file to the GTB M3. I'm gonna use the SP uh, on the top here. So we're gonna see how fast is the transfer rate uh, using this SSD. So let's just be careful here. And using this over here, we're gonna see how fast is the uh, SSD and GDB 3 So now it's, it has the sound that this it's connected. Now let's go to the mouse, go to the uh, my PC, and we're gonna go to the extreme SSD. And we are going to let me just double zoom this, and we are going to see. Oh, it does work this way. So I'm going to choose a file here. Um, let's go to the games, PlayStation 3, and we are going to get Resident Evil Zero. So Resident Evil Zero is around four gigabytes. So we're gonna take this thing, and it's a PlayStation 3 game. So we're gonna take it, and we're going to send it to the desktop see how fast uh, the transfer rate so just give me a second we go just put it here on second <clears throat> all right so let me just try to get it close a little bit there you go, Resident Evil Zero, drag and drop, it's giving me 41 megabytes, how come? It's definitely not, not because of the cable, because the cable is very very capable, um, why it's not that fast? 41 megabytes or 30 megabytes per second, that's not possible, something is wrong guys. <clears throat> okay, so uh, 40 megabytes. I don't know what's going on, but I need to do more investigation on why this is not transferring so fast. This is 4 gigabytes, and uh, yeah, maybe. Let me just double check. Okay, so. Maybe you have to try the USB Type C on the back, but that's not that's not reasonable. You know, it should transfer fast. Maybe I'll just try to change the cable. I don't know. I know the cable is really um, uh, powerful, but we're gonna change it. We're gonna find another cable, guys. All right, we changed the cable. Still, we're getting 40 megabytes per second, which is very very slow for an SSD. Um, I don't know. Is it the port? Is it the SSD itself? we're gonna investigate even more let's just check it out all right everybody so what i'm gonna do now i'm going to use the same cable the same everything but i'm now connecting it to the uh docking station that comes with it so with the docking station we have three usb 3s on the side here and uh, we're gonna see now it's connected see how fast is the transfer rate so how to hold this now i'll show you <laughs> have to do it like this okay uh, so I'm going to take the same uh, file, Resident Evil Zero, and I'm gonna to drop it here, and you're gonna see, wow, wow, that is a three gigabytes, guys, three and a half gigabytes in just maybe two seconds. So <laughs> this transfer speed is around. Let me just double check. I'll just transfer another big file just to make sure. Uh, six go the four three yeah I got the four three is gonna be big big file so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna transfer uh, God the four three right here and see that's the 41 gigs or maybe demon souls let's just transfer demon souls okay let's just see how fast is this 
okay so because we have a lot of files now transferring it's getting a lot of speed now it's picking up it's picking up to 100 uh, we are just still picking up so there's a lot of files here because it's PlayStation 3 you know what let's just cancel this just for the sake of uh, getting it you know get getting it right so let's delete and once we delete let's find a single file transfer as possible um, I'll try to find dolphin games we have yeah so Xenoblade Chronicles is 8 gigabytes so that's enough for us to measure speed and if we do it and there you go guys 500 to 600 megabytes per second uh, very very stable speed and this through the docking board as you can see so oh it's dropping it's dropping okay so maybe it's because of the the heat dissipation and stuff like that but this is really fast through the docking station but using the same cable on the uh, win 3 on the top here is not going to give you as fast as possible speed so what I'm going to do now I'm going to switch just to make sure everything is uh, legit guys so uh, let me just first turn off this and I'm going to remove the docking station So I'm going to remove the docking station and I'm going to remove the, uh, the base here. I'm going to connect this back to the top mount here just to make sure that the speed is not the same guys. Okay. Just want you to make sure that this is not happening. So extreme SSD, we're going to go to I'm going to submit. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to submit. I'm going to games, and we're going to remove Xenoblade Chronicles. Delete. Yep. And we are going to go to Dolphin. And there you go. We're going to get to Xenoblade Chronicles. Send and. Here, as you can see, oh, it's actually, it's actually good right now. So, what's the problem? I think maybe a software update happened, but now it seems really good. Not just like before, it was 60 megabytes or something. Let me try to let me delete Resident Evil Zero. Go back to PlayStation 3 and pick up. Here, as you can see 3.89 gigabytes and yeah it's actually working fine all right so maybe it was a bug or maybe it was a software update that i did before because i actually did two different in two different times so yeah it seems fine guys so the usb on the top is really good don't worry about it uh yeah this is just to quickly show you just in case something happened in the transfer i just because i did transfer this You've seen that in the beginning of the video, it has some issues, but now it seems that's okay. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a small bug that needs to be fixed. It's okay right now. So, thank you, everybody, and I'll see you in another video.